Hi ladies and gents, Pond here with another video for Rise of Empires Ice and Fire. Thank you so much for your previous likes, comments and subscriptions to the channel. If you haven't subscribed already, why not click on that button and ring the bell so you can get notifications of whenever I'm dropping content on the channel. And now on to the topic of this video, and I have been a little bit slow in getting this video out regarding the wings uh, decoration for castles for those of you that are in the older states but hopefully for you new you players new to the game that haven't reached this stage yet this will be a nice little bit of information to inform you about what's coming ahead so as you can see above me we have wings of fire um, they are going to give uh, a token of supreme power to your account and on the right hand side you can see what they basically look like on a castle or multiple castles um, now the only way so far to obtain these has actually been through an event, the Lucky Wheel event on the Benefit Center. So I'm afraid this is just something for spenders and not free to play players. Uh, you can see here Wings of Fire permanent item used to exchange for the wings at the Architect Institute. Attributes when used Siege Defender Might plus 12%, Siege Defender Resistance plus 12%, Damage plus 2%, Permanent Attributes. Siege Defense Might plus 10% and then Archer HP plus 2%, so a little bit of buffs there. Um, how can you obtain this? Well, you're going to have to purchase tokens. So if you look here, you can get three tokens in the UK for uh, 9.49. I'm guessing that the packs scale up the more, uh, once you buy them. Uh, the more you buy, usually that's how it works. Now, my understanding is that people have been spending between six hundred and a thousand dollars on packs to be able to obtain these wings so i'm afraid this is one of those things where it really is just for the top spenders out there and what will happen is when you're using your tokens you're going to get a lot of these kind of smaller items first uh, there is also the magic carpet which is permanent uh, which is kind of like those pendant um, sections so this is going to give you uh, an additional siege might of 7%, siege resistance of 7%, and the permanent attribute for this is uh, siege defense resistance 4%. Uh, you can also get that Easter bunny gift from the Easter celebration. But the main thing about this is the wings. So uh, as the instruction says, use lucky token to raffle for the gifts. Each raffle costs one lucky token. Each round of the events rewards has excellent and normal rewards. Excellent items can only cannot be obtained multiple times. Each raffle yields a certain amount of luck. Once accumulated enough, the next raffle guarantees excellent item when all excellent items are retained roughly no longer yields luck so like i said as far as i'm aware um it is gonna you want the excellent items you do get them in order you you get the wings last apparently um you can obviously access the wings from the architect institute so you go to decorate and then we have this new wing icon here and you can see that we have wings of fire and it shows you the attributes and what it will look like Obviously, we already have as well these additional items in terms of Blessing of the Moon, and that's what the Magic Carpet looks like. And we also had the Claw from the Void. So there's three kind of different levels of decoration now in terms of castle skin. Your base castle skin that will give you better uh, attributes uh, than these kind of pendant type things that hang on the back of your castle. And then we've got wings. What is my... <laughs> Look, I mean... In terms of style, I, I don't think they look great, do they? Like, they're covering up a lot of tiles for a start. It's going to be, I think if you have multiple castles with multiple wings, they're going to obscure a lot of the vision on the map. I'm not sure how good it's going to look. Um, in terms of types of wings, I can only, obviously, they've started off with wings of fire, an elemental wing. So, you know, maybe we'll have wings of ice, for instance, wings of steel, who knows? Maybe we'll get some hot wings. Um, a lot of obviously, <laughs> I've seen if you if you're on the kind of groups online, etc., Discord, you would have seen, I'm sure, many of the memes this week coming out with the various chicken wings and stuff coming out about it. So um, it's going to be, yeah. I mean, it's something new. Unfortunately, again, it's something that is for the pay-to-play crowd. I hope maybe they will start doing these kind of wings and other elements maybe in exchange shops so that even like free to play or small spenders might be able to get them for three days or five days or 30 days or whatever. Um, I think that would be good, you know, obviously just like what we've seen in this current Imperium quests, we've, we had the option to get, uh, what was it on day five, we got a castle skin. 
for seven days, the Tower of Eden Castle skin. So maybe wings, that would be an idea for the devs to put these wings into one of those type of events so that you could at least, you know, it, as a small spender or non-spender, you could obtain those just even for a few days so you can enjoy those buffs. Um, obviously, it is going to be important for the top spenders to kind of obtain these items because as we've seen recently in my SX11 video, that heroes like going forward Arslan, his fifth skill is influenced by resistance. So, and then with Farah, her second skill is influenced by might. So, you know, you're going to want to have these higher levels of might and resistance, particularly as you're a top spender. So even if you're not so keen on the look, like you're gonna to want to get these wings for your accounts because when you're a super spender and you have everything maxed, you've, you've got to keep accumulating these additional add-ons so that you can stay competitive at that very, very top level of the game. And then of course then for the rest of us, you know, I don't have a single, I don't even have a castle skin for any of my accounts, for my, even for my main account. I just, I do not have uh, the budget to like invest in doing castle skins. Um, so I just, I can't do it. So um, it's, I, I guess it's a source of frustration for a lot of us, even the top spenders, it's more something else that they've got to spend on. And I know a lot of people were unhappy of the way that this raffle worked. They felt like it wasn't kind of explained uh, very clearly. And the fact that people were spending up to a thousand dollars for this item, uh, you know, it's, it's getting to be serious. Well, it's already, we're already past the state where it's serious money. So there you go. Ro gives us wings, guys. Um, let me know, of course, in the comment section down below what you think about this new add-on to uh, your castle decorations. And of course, if you could please share this video and my channel in your online chat, province chat, and through Lime, WhatsApp, Viber, Discord, whatever you use to communicate with your fellow players in the game, that would be very much appreciated. That's it for now. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.